Jo, this is your boy Shadrakamon the crap. And you know I will do it right here. I'm here to give you another entertainment update. You know, we always go around to check what is going on in our entertainment industry. You know, we are always trying to find uh, info about our entertainment industry, about what is going on around Africa. And this is what I found this week. You know, this one is trending all over. Yeah. Charlie, if you talk to you guys, say he's one, no, he's, he's the most paid Ghanaian artist. Yeah, the most expensive Ghanaian artist. You people don't believe him, right? You're always coming against him. You're always saying, no, 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 no. He's, he's bragging. He's talking a lot. And he's having this empty, em, empty, empty braggings. Yeah, there's nothing. But yeah, Chitavale is actually making a point. He's not lying to you guys. The guy is actually the most paid Ghanaian artist. You know, in, in like, as far as Ghana, Ghana music industry is concerned, it's, it's a fact. Shatavale is the most paid Ghanaian artist. Yeah, Shatavale always tell you guys how expensive he position his brand. Yeah, how he put high price tag on his on his brand. You know, when it comes to shows and events and things. Yeah, he always charge big. But people don't believe him. Yeah, this guy is actually the 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 most expensive Ghanaian artist. You know, when it comes to billing artists on on shows, on events. Yeah. Shetavale is not, it not it, look, it's not only in Ghana. One of the most expensive artists in Africa. And you know, the truth are now coming out. It is now coming out. Whether you believe it or not, this is coming from credible sources. He even reviewed it on TV3 during his interview with Giovanni. He said he was the first Ghanaian artist to charge $100K per show. Yeah, he said he charged $100,000, you know, for one show at the Afro Nation. And he was the first and only Ghanaian artist, you know, to put such a price on his brand for a performance. And he was paid. You know, when when, when Shetavali made this comment, people were like, ah, as usual, he's lying. Ah, he's lying. No organizer would pay Shetavali uh, $100,000 for, 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 for his performance. Nah, he's lying. It's that, you know, people were coming after him. But actually, that was the fact. He was paid hundred thousand dollars for his show at the Afro Nation, but, but people were refusing, you know, to accept it because you know it is coming from Chetawale. Just recently, he revealed that he was paid eighty k pounds, you know, for for his performance at the Ghana Music Awards in UK. Yeah, he said the organizers paid him eighty thousand pounds, you know, for for everything, for his appearance, for everything for that event that took place in UK. And when Shetavale made this comment, when he posted this statement on his on his official so, social media platforms, people were coming after him. People were like, "Yeah, oh no no, oh boy. <laughs> People were like, "Nah, Shetavale is lying. There's no way um um uh, organizers would pay Shetavale eighty thousand uh, pounds for for his performance." And you know, this the the most shocking thing is that that comments were not coming from some you know fans you know or trolling people. These comments were coming from some gatekeepers. I'm talking about gate, like gatekeepers in this Ghana music industry. People were saying that ah, is lying. There's no way uh, uh, UK people or UK organizers will pay Shatavale 80k pounds, you know, for his performance. They, blah 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 blah. And they were talking, you know, a lot. They were talking rubbish on on their shows, with like refusing to accept it. Now the tweets are coming out, you know, they are coming out. And these are coming from credible sources, legit sources. You know, these people have done their research vividly. You know, they have dived deeply to find the truth. So whatever they are telling you now, it, it is not hearsay. It is fact. Because, because they, they, like, they did their research thoroughly. And so they are not telling you that like, whatever Shatavale is talking about, about his price tag, it's not, it's not hearsay or, or is it, like he's lying. It's nothing but the truth. It's nothing but the truth. And these people call uh, Africa Fat Zone, Charlie. When it comes to you know facts, when it comes to facts, they are the best. After doing their research thoroughly, they are not putting the figures out there. Yeah, Africa Fat Zone is not putting the figures on their pages to tell you how much African artists are making, you know, from their performances, how much they charge for their performances, the money they are making from their performances. And is right there. The figures, you know, the figures are right there. They are telling you that, yeah, this, this, this is how much Shatavale is making from his performances. 
and this is what this is what they did research about it vividly before they are putting those figures out there so this one's coming from africa fat zone so africa fat zone posted this on the official twitter page yeah they posted this they say africa's highest booking fees africa's highest booking fees number one whiskey Benna boy rema one billion dollars each wow whiskey Benna rema one billion dollars each then coming to number four that's the video six hundred thousand dollars the video they're coming to number five asake olambide you know five hundred thousand dollars each five hundred thousand dollars each they come to number seven black coffee three hundred thousand dollars three hundred thousand dollars for black coffee they're coming to number eight kiss daniel two hundred thousand dollars kiss daniel then i met the app yeah one hundred seventy thousand dollars i met the app one hundred seventy thousand dollars then number 10 is our own coming from ghana Shatawale, Africa that's all king. His own is $120,000. $120,000, you know, for Shatawale, the show. Then we have number 11, Dama Platinums, to a savage, $100,000 each. Dama Platinums, to a savage, $100,000 each. Then number 13, Yemialade, $75,000. Yemialade, $75,000. Then we have number 14, Flavor. Seventy thousand dollars, seventy thousand dollars, and they actually stated the sources they are getting these figures from: Vanguard newspaper, Mission Africa, Daily Trust, then briefly essay. These sources are credible. Yeah, they did their research before putting these figures out there. Africa first zone went on and made another tweet about Shatawale. Yeah, they posted this about Shatawale. They said Shatawale was paid 80,000 pounds to perform at the 2003 Ghana Music Awards in UK. Yeah, he was paid $120,000 to perform at the Waterland Festival in Ghana in 2001. Then in 2019, he charged $100,000 to perform at the Afro Nation in Ghana. You know, and he also charged hundred thousand dollars to perform at the love sports x festival in 2019 these are not raw figures they are actual figures that shatawale you know made from his performances i'm telling you this so africa fazu did their research vividly you know thoroughly before putting these figures on their pages you get me so what shatawale is talking is actually you know mentioning those figures about about his brand Mention those figures that is making from his performances. You people should keep quiet and listen to him. That is why this guy is always angry, like he's always pushing for his for for his other colleagues, you know, to do like you know to earn more for 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 their for their career, you know, to make more money for their brands. So this is what Africa Fast Zone posted about Shatawale. So now you can't tell Africa Fast Zone are also lying, right? Oh, they're also lying, <laughs> nah, because we all know that Africa Fast Zone are you know credible sources, yeah. They do their research vividly before putting any information on their platforms. Yeah, we all know that. So now, whatever you are seeing concerning Shatawale's performance fees on their platforms, you know, you know this is coming from credible sources. It's the truth. And my man is not lying. Shatawale is not lying about the figures he's making from his performances. Yeah, you should know that. Charlie, this is a bullshit like a monograph. And you know how we do it, right? Subscribe to this channel. Like, comment, post. Let's share this, you know, platform, this channel all over. Charlie, I love you guys, and I, I like I like how you people, you know, engaging on on my content. Charlie, may God bless you all. Charlie, peace out. Have a nice week. Subscribe Sharaka Mono Crabs channel for more entertainment updates.